morphing it. They're, they've got uh, insulin resistance all the way to uh, uh, type 2 diabetes, and literally it, it's, it's all dietary. No one's getting any nutrients in their food. So if, if, you're, if you were to, you know, wanted to, to kill a large swath of population, you do it by, by eating, you do it slowly like they're doing it. But, you know, so, yeah, I mean, you, you've, got, you've got all these environmental concerns. I mean, literally the, I mean, and, and, and here's another thing, too, and this is something that's very controversial. I'm not surprised about all these bad machines going off and doing it. There are, there, there are you know, there are literally bad machines out there that have been so susceptible and, and engineered not only, uh, through the, through the you know various me- subliminal media, n- the food, uh, and, and just uh, the, just the sheer stress of living that all these people are literally flipping out and doing uh, you know all these crazy things. Now I'm not making excuses by any means, but I you know I I, I sense that something's going on here that isn't that makes no sense. No, all, you know all of these mass killings and mass murders make no sense at all. There, there's nothing, you know, so there's literally, I mean, and, and so we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. We're just seeing the ones that either get caught or actually, you know, get done with it. But just think about how many people out there that are literally quite mad, you know. So, so we, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, you, you know, it, it, it takes a lot to stay positive in this world. I mean, Gary, and, and I think you'll have to agree with me. I mean, it's a full-time job to, to, to not let fear you know, be so pervasive that you become, you know, immobile. And, and that's, and, and again, these influencers out there is, and I think that's what you're kind of getting, I, I, I know that there are influencers out there, there are forces of darkness that are trying to create this stuff, and uh, and you could go, uh, hell, you could go to the majority of the politicians that we have, a lot of the industrial, there, it's simply madness. You know, we're, we're living in a world of madness. So um, what can, uh, higher consciousness is, is one antidote. Getting people to believe in other, something other than materialism and uh, in greed. It's, it's uh, you know, we're in, they call us the Kali Yuga or the darkest period. That's what they, uh, and, but here's the promise too. Um, and I've, and through my meditations, um, it looks like 2025, I think we're going to get a, I believe that, you know, as far as the Aquarian age and what have you, I think we're going to start seeing, I, I think we're at the bottom, and I think things, at least I trust and believe my own meditations and my own, uh, what I'm reading there, and 2025, I think that we're going to see things turn around. And I've always, I've had several dreams about a, pul- a giant pulse, w- pulse wave emanating from out there, that is going to trigger uh, the more benevolent side or the angelic side of our DNA. And I think that that's probably going to have to occur to stop all of this, you know, to stop this. Because if you thought about it, there's just so much stuff going on and it's all negative. And really, we need something almost otherworldly to come in and, and, uh, and, and perhaps help us along. Well, you know, it, it's really scary, uh, Chad, because, you know, for months and months, I heard about this disclosure thing. It was going to happen. You know, some people say, oh, it's going to be proof that UFOs exist. It's, it's going to be a major disclosure. So many people wrote these books out, you know, that it's, you know, cause on disclosure. I've been in and out of broadcasting since 1976. And what I seen that was disclosure. Yeah, the Nevitz thing came out. A couple little things came out. You got the Navy now actually taking reports from pilots when they claim they see a, an object that they can't describe what it is. But there's still, you know, and you got a couple government, you know, senators and, and congressmen, you know, that are looking into it. If so, if they small you know, potatoes, yeah, small, small potatoes, potatoes. Yeah, yeah. And, but I haven't seen this big disclosure come down. I I see a lot of, I, I how can I say it? I think it's a whole bunch. You know, you got these group of people. It, I think all this disclosure is coming out. Then you got this other people come out. So when anything comes out, they come out to discredit it. And, and, it, and I haven't seen anything that uh, it, it really shocked me. Have you? No, I haven't. And, and really, it's you know, and I'm very, very skeptical about you know any any type of governmental UFO disclosure. It just that's not what they do. And, and the other thing too is the shadow government. You know that that's out there that literally are you know I, I mean we know it exists 
and and literally, I mean, you know, you can just use your imagination as far as what's going on. I, I think what uh, you, you know, I mean, uh, the the they utilize the government to, to actually repress information and uh, under the guise of control and Big Brother being the benefactor, but. I, it's been my contention my whole life that essentially disclosure is part of our legacy. Now, uh, I've had to fight really long and hard as far as my own information base where I at least feel somewhat comfortable as far as what's going on. But again, that just, but that's not helping. I mean, I think we have, there, there's 7 billion people here on this planet. I think we have a real opportunity to utilize this, this the vanity that, that, uh, that we all possess. And but that's being uh, categorically suppressed. I mean, it's, it, you know, they're, they're just repressing all of the, the good side of us and what have you. And they and, and what they do is, if somebody pops up with any really good idea, uh, they, they seem to want to uh, annihilate them. You know, as far as this, so there there are there is there is a certain amount of darkness. I mean, you, you have to you have to concede, and, and you, you can just watch the news. You know, you can just see the games being played back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, who are the victims? Well, you know, the, the common man. And that's, it's, it's, it's really a tragic, and the time that's wasted. And, and the other thing, too, is what, you know, we're still driving, uh, we're still driving uh, carbon-based cars. I mean, I mean, what's changed over the last hundred years? I know everyone talks about the miracle, you know, about the computer and this, this, and that. But essentially, we're doing the same thing the same way, you know. And, and again, this comes down to this whole free energy thing, um, you know. That that if if, if actually, if, if which we know it exists, we had this free energy around, and it was equally available to everybody. Well, think think about it. We would not need cars. We would not need insurance. We would not. You just think the litany of things that we would not need, and, and and the litany of things the government couldn't get their hands on as far as revenue, also. So it, it, to me, it's all a gigantic game, and and we're like being played as, uh, you, you know, this could be a gigantic the extension of the book Animal Farm. I mean, that, that's yeah. really what we are right now. Yeah. So well, you know what's going on. Everything you know, you read in the news. Okay, every day they're finding you know new black holes. They're finding light coming out of you know from a solar system they thought never could exist. They're finding galaxies, solar systems that never could exist, and planets that they say, hey, maybe could hold human life. This is coming out more than ever. Asteroids are coming like within 1,900 miles of Earth is supposed to be one be coming. Uh, then they, they, they start talking about, well, we need to spend money to deflect these asteroids. Wow. Or they, they talk about, you know, that uh, it's scary what's all going on right now. And, and it's like, it, I think it's like so much disinformation about everything, I think, to keep people in turmoil right now. Well, that's what you do. You divide and conquer, you know, and, and that seems to be yeah. the playbook of, you know, and, and I, I, I don't even want to mention the name. But that's the playbook of what's going on. It's it's just a divisive world we live in, and it's you know it's it's them. It, it's it's the con, completely rather than uniting, everything is divided, and and even within the context of, of the whole unity movement, there is that whole you know spy versus spy thing. It's it's extraordinarily complicated as far as this. But there's not a straight piece of metal anywhere. I mean, you know, I, and I don't care. I, I know everyone wants to, you know, it, it, we're so tribalized, you know, as far as this, and, and this literally creates a distortion field. Not only uh, it's a psychic distortion field, not only not only within ourselves, but outwardly. I mean, literally. I mean, outwardly. But it's it's nothing new. It just seems to be accelerated. And, and again, I, I, my contention is, I think we're at the bottom of this thing. Think about think about everything you thought you knew, you know, growing up in school, as far as the history, but the history of the. The history of what they had presented to us, and then think about how everything has been uh, essentially adulterated. As far as even that, I mean, they they literally, I mean, you know, some of these new uh, findings of these ancient civilizations that predate the del- the you know the flood. Think about that. That and, and again, anybody that had brought that those various uh, uh, you know like uh, Gobekli Tepe or, or any of these other finds, you know, they they labeled the pyramids as like you know. Everything that they base, and this has this been this joint conspiracy between religion and science, which I actually categorize category as mystery Babylon. This is what mystery Babylon is. Everything, you know, literally 
it, it is it is and it's our duty to find and get our own information base to straighten this thing out. But but now everything's coming out and it's so evident and so clear that you really I mean unless you're you know unless you're ruined you can't deny that. But it but if we get past all this tribalism and look at everything more objectively, like for instance, my one of my biggest arguments, Gary, is 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 borders. Borders are I, I believe are senseless, and and you know it, it's you. a very, very sensitive and touchy point. Yeah, I, I mean they're they're senseless. Can I mean, I, and, and I, they don't I, work. Can I ask you but a yes, question? That's again. Go ahead. Because I know where you have lived. I don't know where you're at now. But do you think yeah. the amount of money to put up a uh, a wall, for example, right, a fence? All the money it's costing that would cover fixing our grid system if we got hit with a solar flare. What would you choose between the two? Would you put a wall up, which isn't going to do any good, or are you going to fix the uh, our, our grid system? Which which one is more important? Or choose electricity? Yeah, <laughs> choose I'm, electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have my yeah have my phone and TV on, or have a wall down. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, again, it's, it's again this whole tribalism thing. If you thought about it, um, it, it's really first of all, the majority of people that are illegal come by plane. They don't come across the border. That is the, that that is the most ridiculous thing. But it was uh, uh, again, it's the same thing of the you know the hurricane coming to Alabama. <laughs> I mean, it's just. Yeah, you know, and, and and again, it's it's the red versus blue. You know, you call it the blue pill, the red pill, whatever. That is this divisive as far as this, what what is what what is the symbolism of a wall? It's division. It's a divider as far as that, and that and, and then you get into class distinctions distinctions as far as that. And incidentally, I mean, I, I still you know I, I I reside a good part of my time down in Mexico. And there's absolutely zero difference. Everyone has the same issues and what have you. And and the majority of my friends in Mexico, they wouldn't even think about living in the United States because they they think it's insane now. So, uh, I mean, and and actually over the last, for the most part, over the last 15 years, the illegal uh, migration has gone down every year. And here's the other thing, too, about this. You know, have you seen the pictures about the, you know the, the 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 fruits and vegetables and avocados and all these different things uh, uh, that just going down because they can't they can't find anybody that'll pick them. Yeah. And if and, and I know yeah. So uh, the, again, it's it's all part of a a, a divisive uh, a way of being and looking at it. And I and it's tribalism and it's like oh gosh, it's so it's it's primeval. It, it literally takes us back to the caveman days, as far as that. And instead of, I mean, granted, we've gone in the wrong direction, you know, here, and I, and we're and we're going to pay for it dearly. I mean, there's there's consequences for everything, and uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we've just been on the wrong side of all this stuff here. And and uh, but again, you know, if you extrapolate this into the whole, you know, uh, the the whole uh, the whole world or whole universe. I mean, there are going to be superior races. I mean, obviously, there there have been, there, there are superior races. In fact, we may have possessed, there might have been superior races on this planet. In fact, there's more evidence that comes out every uh, every year that there have been people here living over a million years with advanced technology. So, uh, you, you know, I, I, again, our, our view is so limited as far as what this is and what it, you, you know, and, and not only... Not only this Earth, but the whole universe. So I think with a certain uh, amount of uh, you know higher consciousness, which we'll get there, and uh, you know you, you have to believe that you will, otherwise you won't. So I'm 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 so, I, I try to remain optim- optimistic against the backdrop of the stuff that I cannot deny, which I think is purely insanity. It's insane. It I mean, is, it's, and it's a waste of resources. Anyways. Yeah, and we're about ready again. Boy, the time is going so fast talking to you, Chad. We're about ready to go for a break. When we get back, I want to talk about Howard Hughes. I want to talk about the person that kind of got blown up and and Giant Rock and and, and all this stuff and then get into, you know, uh, what it was like where all these people would get together to gather to, you know, gaze at UFOs and try to make contact. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put you on uh, mute for a little while, and uh, we'll be back in about two and a half minutes.